What's up, Kings? Welcome back to Kang TV News. I'm Maya. And I'm Kate. As you can see, the Kang TV studio is still under construction, or at least parts of it are, so we are filming in my car today. We are starting off this week's newscast with our KSPN from Kang TV's Addison and Charlotte. What's up, Kangs? Welcome back to KSPN. First off, a huge congratulations is in order for our undefeated badminton team. Most recently, they defeated both Woodenville and North Creek 11-0. And our baseball team is on a bit of a win streak as well, beating Inglemore 9-7 on Friday and Monroe 5-2 on Saturday. Keep up those wins! Our baseball team plays again tomorrow against Bishop Lanchette at home. Great job to our soccer team who clamored Mariner 6-0 on Saturday, following it up with a win against Interlake on Monday. Look out for this team tomorrow versus Hazen. And Softball absolutely killed it on Tuesday, beating Cedar Park Christian 11-1. We love to see it. A huge shout out to Golf for beating Juanita by 38 points on Wednesday. Finally, we want to give a huge shout out to our JV Palm team for taking third overall and first in 3A at the first ever JV Dance Championship. That is all for this week. Back to you, Maya and Kate. But first, I'm Addison. And I'm Charlotte. And, and this, this is, is KSPN, KSPN Out. out. Moving on, we had many successes in the past Regional History Day contest on March 9th. The following students are now advancing to the state contest here at Lake Washington High School on April 27th. HOSA also had big wins this past week at their state leadership conference. Congratulations to the following students who have advanced to the international conference in Houston in June. In the summer of 2025, we'll be going to England, France, and Germany following the path of World War II. If you like the Band of Brothers series, we'll be following their path from the D-Day invasion through the Eagle's Nest. And Miss Tylee and I are going to Costa Rica in spring of 2025, spring break. And we'll be going to Australia and New Zealand in for spring break of 2025. Uh, we're going to be visiting like the Normandy Normandy D-Day beaches, as well as Churchill's war rooms, and going through to see the Eagle's Nest, um, as well as going on some cultural excursions throughout Paris. In Costa Rica, we'll be doing some canopy tours, exploring the flora and fauna of the tropical country, and also getting some beach time. We're going to do a ton of really cool science things in New Zealand and Australia. We get to see the glowworm caves. We're going to go see some uh, Southern Hemisphere uh, constellations. We're going to go to some Lord of the Rings filming sites. We get to see kiwis and kangaroos and all sorts of down under animals. Girls Who Code has had a successful STEM night with over 150 attendees. Dozens of STEM clubs, including HOSA, Science Olympiad, Robotics, FFA, math, physics, and future tech club attended. Check these photos if you're, and these clubs if you're interested. Now moving on, applications to run for ASB commissioner are due on Tuesday, March 26th to Mr. Grundle. Commissioners are members of leadership, of the leadership class with a specific role, such as recognition, clubs, spirit, or diversity. Let Mr. Grundle know if you have any questions. Now Kings, this is a very important message. Please fill out as many of the yearbook surveys as possible. This is our final way to get into the book, so fill them out. Another quick announcement, PE makeups are only for current PE students that need to make up missed days. Students cannot come to PE makeups just for recreational time. L-Dub's advanced video production class is filming a movie on campus, and they're looking to add actors and crew members to this major project. The class chose the concept and award-winning seniors Jake Brown and Dacian Sanders wrote the screen play. If you're interested, email Ms. Ring for more information. Now, Multicultural Club is hosting a game night after school on Wednesday in room 332 from 1.30 to 2.30 with cards, carom board, Monopoly, and so much more. Join them for food and fun. They hope to see you there. Now it's time for our latest Kang Q. Sienna, Tilda, and Ben went out to find some interesting facts about our fellow Kangs. What's, What's up, up Kings? <laughs> it's your girl Sienna and your newest girl Tilda and we know you've been waiting for us. For this week's KQ, our question is, what is 
something that not everybody knows about you. Let's go ask her school. I said, okay, 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 do get my infatuation. What is one thing people don't know about you? I used to rap. Oh, can we hear some? No. What is something people don't know about you? I, I have a twin brother, and I have a 20 year old brother. What is one thing that nobody knows about you? Um, I can make bird calls. Let's hear it. Nobody knows. That Sienna's my best friend. Sienna's my best friend. Oh my god! What is one thing that nobody knows about you? So for Model UN, I help run the conferences. We have like 400 plus people, and it's definitely fun, and everyone should try doing it. One thing about you that nobody knows. Uh, one thing about me that nobody knows is I'm a professional esports player. What is one thing that nobody knows about you? I'm Madison. And I'm Charlotte. And that's it for KSPN this week. As always, I'm Addison. And I'm Charlotte. So what is one thing that nobody knows about you? So I actually have two things, one special. Um, one, I placed fourth in FFA State in uh, agricultural communications back in my time in high school. Wow. And uh, my dad went to LDUB, actually, so second generation graduate. All right, Paige, what is something that nobody knows about you? Something that nobody knows about me is that I can do cricket noise. Can we hear it? Of course. Okay, Matilda, what is something that nobody knows about you? Um, something that nobody knows, or a lot of people don't know, actually, is that before I lived here, I used to live in London. Oh my god, what? Do you like it better here or London? Well, I think I like it better here, but I wish I had a London accent. Oh yeah, a British accent? Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And what is something that a lot of people don't know about you? Well, well, so everybody knows me as a little cheerleader, right? But I am here to break the news. I'm now a track star. I am now track. You can catch me on the field after school, Monday through Saturday. And you're going to see me at King Co. Telling you all right now. All right. Okay. That's it for this week's KQ. Love you all. And go King. Thank you. Okay. Out. Seniors, Ben and Zach have some important information for us. What's up, senior? How are you? Hey, graduation is approaching. Um, if you're interested in doing an audition, uh, you can sign up on the LWHS website. For more information, visit lwhs.org. But wait, there's more. If you'd like to help select a speaker for graduation, visit the LWHS website to be on the speaker panel. Or visit or ask Mr. Gurnall for more information. What's up, Kangs? Join the senior party for a night of fun with two venues, transportation, food, and entertainment. Tickets are only $200 until May 1st. Available on the PTSA website under the senior section. Scholarships are also available. Inquire with Ms. Hole in the office for more detail. If you're interested in learning more about business, check out the Kirkland Youth Summit coming on April, on April 2nd at Lake Washington Tech. Scan the QR code on your screen for more information. That's it for this week's Kang TV News. I'm Maya. And I'm Kate. Thanks so much for watching and go, go Kings! Kings.